Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at a tricky measurement worksheet called Measurement Cups, Pints, Quarts, and Gallons. Let's use the information up top to help us answer some of these tricky questions. You can read this information forwards, like two cups equals one pint, and two pints equals one quart. And finally, four quarts equals one gallon. You can also read this information backwards, meaning making the units from big to small. We have one gallon equals four quarts, meaning four quarts fit inside one gallon. We have one quart equals two pints. Same thing, two pints would fit inside of one quart. And one pint equals two cups, meaning two cups would fit inside of one pint. Let's use this information to answer the questions below. But first, let's read the directions. Circle, which can hold the same amount. So let's first look at our picture on our left. I can identify this picture as one gallon. So my answer choices are all in pints. So I know I'm gonna be taking gallons, turning them into pints. Well, in order to do this, I have to take it step by step and break gallons down first into quarts, because I know how many quarts are in a gallon, and then from quarts into pints. So let's get started. I know that in one gallon, there's four quarts, and I have that for my information right up top. So let's make four quarts. I know that in each quart, for my information up top, there are two pints. So in each quart, let's draw two pints. So there's two pints for the first one, two pints for the second quart, two pints for the third quart, and two pints for the fourth quart. So if we just count our pints up, we can figure out how many pints are in this gallon, and we can match it to the correct picture. So let's count the pints. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. And if you look at the second answer choice, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints, making the second answer choice our correct answer. Let's look at the second example. In the second example, I have two pints. I see that our answer choices are in cups, so I know I'm going to be turning pints into cups. Well, I know that in one pint, there are two cups, and I have that for my information up top. So let's draw two cups for the first pint. So there's two cups, but we have two pints, so let's draw another pint. And for this pint, we're also going to draw two cups. So let's just count the cups in total, and we can figure out how many cups are in two pints. Well, there's one, two, three, four cups. And again, I see that the second answer choice shows us four cups. That must be correct. For our last example, we're going to be taking small units of cups and turning them into bigger units of quarts. So let's start out with the correct number of cups. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cups. So on the bottom of my page, let's draw eight cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I can't just jump from cups right to quarts. We have pints in between. How many cups equals one pint? Well, again, I know two cups equals one pint. So let's circle groups of two and turn them into pints. So there's one pint. Two cups again equals another pint. Two cups again equals another pint. And our last two cups equals another pint as well. So now I have one, two, three, four pints. But again, our answers are in quarts. And from our information up top, I see again that two pints equals one quart. So let's group two pints together to equal one quart. So two pints equals one quart here. And these two pints equal another quart. So how many quarts do we have in total? Let's count them up. That's one quart, and there's two quarts. 
So we have to look and find the picture with two quarts. Then of course, that's our first answer choice. So let's go ahead and circle that. Boys and girls, remember, these kind of worksheets can be tricky, but if you just work backwards or forwards and take it step by step, never skipping a step or skipping a unit type, you'll find that this isn't so tricky after all. Great job, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.